that Jake would have Maya, Dale would go to Aaron, and Athena to Chris. And they were absolutely right from the very beginning. Last month, Colorado's 4th District Congresswoman, Betsy Markey, introduced a bill in the House of Representatives that addresses some of the problems of veterans returning from Iraq with PTSD and traumatic brain injury. She's graciously agreed to join us today to tell us a bit about her bill. And it's my privilege to introduce the Honorable Betsy Markey, Congresswoman from the 4th Congressional District of Colorado. for inviting me to be part of this wonderful event and, and to learn more about this outstanding program. I, I have several, I've uh, had over the years several labs, um, so I have a, a special love for, for these animals um, and how really wonderful and, and smart they are. Uh, last Saturday, I had the opportunity to go to another wonderful event uh, honoring our veterans, and that was the groundbreaking for the new uh, veterans facility at the Fitzsimmons campus, which will provide um, much, much needed services and a special uh, spine injury unit for our veterans. And I have to say, this was a long time uh, in the making, and, and I will say that it took the part of many, many veterans group, groups, including the American Legion, who was here uh, last Saturday, who was in uh, Denver last Saturday, to make it happen. They never gave up on uh, pressing our politicians, making sure the administration knew how important this was to have this veteran state-of-the-art veterans facility here in Colorado. So I was very happy to be a part of that wonderful event uh, with uh, Secretary Shinseki uh, just last Saturday. Um, I have recently introduced the Honor Act, um, and this will provide uh, additional resources to care for veterans who have those invisible injuries that often go undetected for many years. Uh, uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, traumatic brain injury, um, and it's necessary for us to be proactive to make sure that we are doing the screening that's necessary when veterans return home, and then providing our veterans not just with the, the physical uh, health, but also mental health and educational benefits uh, when they return. It is the obligation we have made to our servicemen and women um, when they have honored us. Uh, by joining the military. And it's a sacrifice, one of the sacrifices that we honor today, uh, not just with this program, but just coming together uh, to honor our veterans. Uh, and it is insufficient to say that those sacrifices were offered for the survival of a nation. They were, but those words really don't do honor to the nature of the deeds that you have all done. Because a life committed to the safety of our country is a life lived for the sake of all others. In this country, in particular, the commitment to serve our country has given us tremendous peace our homeland has known for an unprecedented amount of time. It's a peace that allows our children to go to school safely every day, that allows our grandparents to reach an old age, and to allow our legislators to debate the issues of the day safe in the knowledge that our democracy will survive any number of challenges. I stand here today tremendously humbled by all of you have given to this country to keep us free. It is an honor and an obligation that we have to bestow upon all of you who have fought for our country in the noble pursuit to protect our pursuits of happiness. And it's an honor that I hope you will all join me in granting upon our worthy servicemen and women as thanks for your very great donation. Thank you again. Thank you for inviting me to be part of this very wonderful and very happy event.